And we are also following a chaotic and unfolding story in Southern California tonight, a multiple shooting at a college campus. It happened in Santa Monica, and NBC's Mark Potter is there for us. Mark, good evening. Good evening, Ann. Good, good evening, Ann. Police say this is an incident where there are several locations and one gunman. A second person of interest is still being questioned. It all began in a neighborhood, moved through area streets, through several intersections, and ended up here at Santa Monica College. Police say seven people were killed. The suspect and six of his victims, including possibly the gunman's father. Oh, my God. Police say the incident began shortly before noon Pacific time at a home near the Santa Monica College, that home enveloped in flames. Authorities say two people were found dead inside the house and a woman was wounded in a car outside. Eyewitnesses say police chased a car from that scene to an intersection at the campus where a person dressed in black carrying an assault rifle got out of the car and began opening fire. Everyone threw themselves on the floor, screamed, and we started to shoot from the front of the bus to the back of the bus. After shooting at a red SUV and wounding the driver who crashed into a brick wall, eyewitnesses say the gunman then headed toward the campus library on foot. Star Santa Monica College, they have an active shooter in a library with automatic weapon. Students and others on campus hunkered down and some ran away as the school was put on lockdown. Students described a chaotic scene and told of hearing shots and seeing a husky male dressed all in black carrying either an assault rifle or a shotgun. As soon as we opened the door, it was like automatic. It was like bang, bang, thrang, three bangs. I was studying in the library. This guy walks in and just shoots it. Like, boom, boom. Can you guys go, please? Help me out. Some of the students were able to find safety inside the library. Police found the suspect as he continued to shoot at those taking cover. The officers came in and directly engaged the suspect, and he was shot and killed on the scene. Three miles away, President Obama was attending a fundraiser, but the Secret Service says he was never in danger and that they were treating this as a local incident. But so as not to interfere with the police investigation, the president did change his travel plans, leaving this area by motorcade rather than by helicopter to avoid all the police choppers up in the sky hovering over the various crime scenes. Anne? All right, Mark Potter, thank you so much.